Hi, my darlings. Welcome to the mat and welcome to this online coven. So for those who are new here and perhaps stumbled across me on YouTube, my name is Bethany and I am the Yogi Witch and welcome to this glorious day here in Pembrokeshire, Wales. So to embrace this sunshine, to embrace the kind of promise of summer that's coming up, we are going to flow to feel good. Now this is going to be a simple 20 minute flow that you can do at any point during the day whenever you just want to embrace all that positivity, create some peace and find a little magic through movement. So give yourself a moment to, you know, grab yourself a cup of coffee, a tea, maybe take any props that you need, bring it to the mat, <laughs> whatever that sentence is going to be. <laughs> Find yourselves any props that you'll need to support your practice and when you're ready, I will meet you back here so we can flow to feel good. Okay, so to begin today's flow, you're gonna come straight away into a child's pose position. So bring in the big toes, touch, take the knees wide, and we settle the body all the way down, stretching those arms in front of us. We're gonna take a beautiful deep inhale. And a slow exhale all the way out. giving ourselves a few moments to bring our mind to the mat. Especially if we have perhaps come to the mat today a little bit anxious or a little bit stressed, that's okay. For the next 20 minutes, we're gonna find magic through our movement. We're gonna feel good. We are just gonna get lost in the flow coming together as a collective coven. So as you kind of begin your practice with a few moments of grounding breath, maybe you choose to take a second to set yourself an intention for the practice ahead. Maybe something you want to release, something you'd like to welcome in, something you'd like to surrender to, anything at all. There's no right or wrong answer. But giving yourselves a few moments to set your intention in your mind and then seal it with your breath. Beautiful, my darlings. From here, we're going to take an inhale to press into the palms of the hands, roll the body to tabletop, bring these knees a little bit closer together. And from here, we're going to keep the body moving, drop the hips, find length through the crown of the head, upward dog. We inhale, exhale to tuck the toes under, send the hip bones back to your child's pose. Beautiful. So starting to find movement in the spine now. Inhaling to roll the body forward to an upward dog. And then exhaling to send the hips back to the heels, child's pose. Taking it a few more times, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And then from here, the next time that you go to move the hips back towards the heels, we press into the hands and lift the hip bones to the sky and make your way into the first down dog of the class. So maybe this is your first down dog in a while. Maybe it's your first down dog today, whatever it is. Start to take some movement. So pedaling up the legs, nodding the head yes, shaking it no. Taking any wiggles of those ankles, 
wiggle of the hips that your body is craving. Beautiful. And from here, we bend the knees, begin to walk the hands back towards the feet, find the elbows and take a few sways in your rag doll. Letting the upper half of the body hang completely heavy here. On your inhale, fingertips to the mat or bring them to the shins to gaze forward, straighten that back. Beautiful, exhale, bend the knees, roll the body to standing, sweep those arms overhead, take a mini back bend here. Before we bring the hands to heart center straight away, shift your weight to the right leg and we flex the left foot, bring it off the mat. Right hand finds that left knee, give yourself a little twist here stand connect with that strength that you have beautiful bring the body back to the center hands come to prayer and we release left foot down shift the weight and take this twist to the other side so flex the right foot left hand finds the right knee and take your twist Beautiful, inhale back to the center, release right hand down. We sweep those arms back overhead, find your mini back bend. Before we bend the knees and forward fold, immediately walking the hands forward, move back to down dog. Yes, from here, big toes come to touch. We inhale, take that right leg nice and high to the sky, point those toes, maybe take a few ankle rolls in one direction. Moving and taking it in the other. Before we bend the knee into the chest, wake up that core and step right foot between the thumbs, lower the back knee down. On your inhale, find your way into your low lunge. Exhale to bend the elbows to the side, find your way to your cactus arms. Pull back on the hands, open up the heart and blocking that heart chakra here. Together we inhale, exhale, sweep those arms forward, yes, and then inhale back to cactus arms, taking this movement a few more times, exhale, sweep the palms to touch, inhale, find cactus arms, whoop, <laughs> exhale, send those hands all the way forward one more time, inhale to cactus, exhale to send them all the way forwards, reach nice and wide. Before hands come to frame that front foot, we leave left hand down, pull the right arm all the way up to the sky. Gaze up towards the fingers, inhale. Exhale, frame that right foot, tuck the back toes under and we lift straight back to down dog. Yes, bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, sweep the left leg nice and high to the sky. Take a few ankle rolls in one direction. Taking it in the other. Before we inhale, point them high. Exhale, draw the knee to the chest and wake up that core and step between the thumbs, lower the back knee down. Inhale, first find your way to your low lunge. Exhale, bend those elbows off to the side, cactus arms pulling on those hands to open the heart. Hold it here for a few moments. Beautiful. Sweep the arms all the way forwards, palms come to touch. Inhale, take it nice and high, cactus arms. Exhale, sweep the palms forward, bring them to touch two more times. Inhale to cactus arms. Exhale, sweep them forwards. Inhale to cactus. Exhale to sweep them all the way forward, stretching them out as far as they can go. Before we frame the front foot, right hand stays down, pull this left arm to the sky, find your way to your twist, opening up the heart here. We inhale. Exhale, frame that front foot. Tuck the back toes under and lift straight back to down dog. Immediately bending the knees and walk the hands towards the feet. 
find your way to your ragdoll. On your inhale, bring the fingertips to the mat or hands to the shins to gaze forwards. Exhale, bend the knees, roll the body to standing, arms flow overhead in prayer, mini back bend, open up those hips. Beautiful, before the hands come to the center, shift your weight to that right leg, bend the left knee and find your way to your chosen tree pose. So that left foot can come into the thigh, maybe the calf, or you can even keep the toes on the mat. But finding length in the spine here, the sun in my eyes is truly testing my balance here. Beautiful, for a few more moments, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the nose. Beautiful, release left foot down, straight away we shift our weight, move over to the left hand side, find your tree pose to the other side. I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely getting lost in the fact that I'm flowing outside right now. Oh God, it's so beautiful. After a long winter here in Pembrokeshire, it is glorious to see the sun again. <laughs> beautiful, release the right foot down. Inhale, take the arms nice and high to the sky. Take your mini back bend if it feels all right. Beautiful, before we bend the knees, forward fold, walk straight back to your down dog. From your down dog, big toes come to touch at the back of the mat. Inhale, right leg points nice and high to the sky. Before we draw the knee to the chest, step between the thumbs. Left hand stays down, right hand pulls all the way to the sky. Option to stay here in your twist or if you have wild thing in your practice, you step right foot behind the left. Find your way to that gorgeous wild thing. Open up the heart. Holding for three, for two, for one, flip the body back to point, hip bones come high to the sky, down dog, yes. Bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, left leg floats nice and high to the sky, beautiful. And then draw the knee to the chest, step between the thumbs. Right hand stays down, pull the left arm to the sky. Option to stay here and twist, or if you have wild thing, step right foot behind the left. Open up that heart, find that back bend. We inhale, exhale, find your way first to plank, hip bones come high to the sky, give the hips a little bit of a wiggle here, and then when you're ready, we're going to bring right knee to the right wrist, lower the leg down. Step the left leg on top, move to seated, inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, take a twist to the left hand side, right hand, left knee. If you'd like to go even further in this twist, right hand stays where it is. We sweep the left arm up and overhead. Beautiful, relax, left hand down. Inhale, both hands come high to the sky. Exhale, take a twist over to the right hand side, left hand, right knee. If you want to go further again, you can sweep that right arm up and overhead, open the side body. Relax the right hand down, gently bring the body to the centre from here. We're going to bring the knees to touch, take just a quick round of our Navasana, so our boat pose. Roll back the shoulders, find that mini back bend. You can keep the toes to the mat, send the arms by your side, or you can lift the legs up, even extend them here. Oh my God, testing my ability. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees to the chest. Oh, give yourself a little hug here, rolling from side to side.
ending this practice with one final twist. Those knees fall over to the right hand side. Your gaze floats to the left. Bring those arms back to your cactus arms. Inhale, those knees move through center. Beautiful. Exhale, take your twist to the other side, switching your gaze. Inhale, those knees come into the center. This time, we're going to bring the bottom of the feet to touch. Allow those knees to fall open into your butterfly legs. And if it feels comfortable to you, you can take the arms overhead, finding the elbows and opening up those hips and those hearts for our final Shavasana pose. just existing in the present moment here embracing all that peace all that positivity that you've created ignoring the fact i have to cover my eyes from the blinding sun <laughs> reminding yourself of the intention that you set at the beginning of this practice whatever it might have been And as you lie here in peace and in stillness, you're just going to acknowledge the fact that you came to the mat today, that you rebalanced mind, body and spirit, that you took time out of your day to take care of you. Mm. Giving yourself a little bit of self-love. If you want to stay relaxing here for a little bit longer, even allow yourself a little self-care snap, you're welcome to do so. Or if you're ready to come out with me, you very, very, very gently bring those knees to touch and allow the body to fall to one side of your mat, keeping the head heavy as you lift yourselves in to a comfortable seated position, rolling back the shoulders and placing the hands into the lap. Just giving yourself a moment here to come back into the room, having taken care of ourselves and finding some feel good vibes for the past 20 minutes. And as always, we're going to close this practice together as the collective coven by inhaling through the nose and exhaling to bow chin to chest, giving our thanks to ourselves, to the coven, and as always, from me to you. Thanking you so much, my loves, for joining me on the mat today for this gorgeous, nourishing, delicious, feel good flow. So don't forget, I do upload three videos a week over on my YouTube channel, uh, The Yogi Witch. So I'd appreciate any support, a like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of jazz. But I really hope you enjoy today's flow and I would love to see you again soon on the mat to create a little bit of magic through movement. Sending all my loves, my darlings, and I will see you soon.